Hey everyone, Greg Kazillo from Kazillo.com. I wanted to show you a quick video on how super easy it is to print directly to an Epson or any other brand inkjet printer. I'm here in Lightroom. I'm going to hit Control P for the keyboard shortcut. And uh, I'm on the PC, so this is actually easier on the Mac. It, uh, there actually are some additional complications in the dialog box, but we'll, we'll save that for another day. So I've hit my page setup button. I'm going to hit my properties button. Now I'm printing to the new fine art paper, or the new legacy paper, which they actually have not updated their, um, their presets for yet. So I am choosing Ultra Premium Presentation Matte. This is going to be a black and white photo in quality, and I've chosen the warm version of that because I want to just have a little bit of additional color, a little bit of warmth there. My source is sheet. 8 by 10 is the size of my paper. I'm going to choose my expansion to minimum so that there's just a tiny, tiny border. It's going to be around the outside of the image, and then we're going to double check our settings here. Everything looks great. Quality is fine here. No need to change it to max quality. Um, you really won't need it. So then we're going to click OK. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to double check our settings on this side. Now this is going to be matte paper. If you're using an Epson printer, you want to set this to 270 ppi. All right. Now um, our cell size, 8 by 10. All right, so that's set. Page, I don't need to add anything additional. No background colors, identity plates, watermarking guides, anything like that. The most important part is this drop down right here. This is your color management. If you want your color to be accurate, you need to make sure you choose the right one in this dialog box. I am using the new Legacy Fiber Paper from Epson. Uh, they actually gave me this uh, paper pack sample, and so I am uh, sh printing on a sheet of that. Well, it's really awesome paper. It's got a really, really neat look to it. So I'm going to choose that as my paper profile, leaving everything alone. I'm going to hit print. If you're really anal, you can hit properties, and you can double check and make sure that everything is good to go. And it certainly is, and I'm going to hit OK. That sound effect was telling me that my printer was a little bit low on ink, and uh, this is going to take a minute because it's got to uh, actually switch inks because I was just printing a glossy photo, so now I'm switching over to a matte, and so it needs to switch over the inks, so hold on. And here comes the print. It is almost done. Look at that beautiful black and white print. Hold on a second. It's just about done. I printed it as an 8x10. Another quick little tip, I always prefer to actually cut my 8x10s first, cut the paper first, then put it into the printer since the printer automatically will print an 8x10 image of borderless. It's actually much easier to cut it first than it is to cut those thin little strips on four sides. You only have to make two cuts and you're done. It's actually a much better way to go. I strongly suggest that you check that method out. Another little tip for you. And it looks like this thing is just about done. Look at that. There it is. Uh, perfect. Look at that bad boy. Has just a little bit of a warm tone to it. Just enough. The blacks, I, I know you can't see it here because of the webcam, because of the video compression, all those different things. But, oh man, the blacks, you know, you can really, really see a lot of shades in her jacket, which incidentally matches the image that I, that I have on the screen quite well. And uh, you just see all those little tones. Absolutely love this paper. Really cool. Awesome image. Love that too. From a fun family shoot that I did not that long ago. Awesome little 8x10. And there's your, tut your tutorial on how to print out of Lightroom to an Epson printer or any other inkjet printer. Thanks guys. Keep shooting. See ya.